Hello and welcome to the next video in our series. Today we are going to walk through the process of setting up a key store for your app, which is crucial for securing your app, uploading it to the Google Play, and configuring Firebase and ensuring deep link functionality. It is important to note that the key store provided in the Housey source code is a general public key store. This means that it is also available to all the customers who buy Housey from Food Canyon, making it less secure to sign your app with it, this provided key store. For a more secure option, we need to generate and use our own key store. Now let's go into creating a secure key store. First, create a new Android project in Android Studio. You can name it dummy or anything simple for this purpose. I am going to call it edge to edge. The rest of the details don't matter as we are simply going to use it for the key store generation. The project is created and open. We don't need to edit anything here in the project. We just need to go into the menu bar, build, generate signed APK. A dialog will appear, select Android App Bundle or APK, click next. Below the key store path, you can choose existing key store or create new. Click create new. In the key store path, choose a location on your computer where you want to save the key store. Make sure the file ends with .jks extension. Create and confirm a secure password for the key store. Keep this password safe as we will need it later to sign the app. Every key store contains a key. We need to create an alias for a key here. I'm going to call it private. This can be the same password that we use for the key store password for simplicity. Set the length of the time for which the key will be valid. We recommend setting it to at least 25 years certificate. Provide all the details personal information for the certificate such as your name, organization, location. This data is included in the APK but not shown in the app. After filling in all the information, click OK to generate your key store. Now that we have generated the key store, let's integrate it into our Housey Flutter project. Locate and copy the newly created key store and paste it here in this location. We need to update its reference in the key.properties file here. We also need to update the key alias here. We also need to update the passwords here. Make sure the path is relevant to the Gradle file which helps during the build process. In this scenario, it is one directly behind the Gradle file. We are all done here. You can simply delete this existing public key store. For more details, you can also check the official Android documentation on generating and uploading key and key stores. Thanks for following along and stay tuned for more tutorials in the series.